Now it's time for George from Wojo's Garden Center. George? and welcome back to Wojo's Greenhouse and Garden Center here in Ortonville. It is a hot summer day. This is George and we're going to talk about a number of topics that are important for gardeners this time of year. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is how plants want to live. This is a viburnum that was returned to us back about six weeks ago. The people that bought it didn't water it, the leaves all turned brown, and we put it back in the back and took care of it, watered it and everything, and I was going to do a pruning on it yesterday because it had some, some brown leaves. And I got to looking at it, and I've got new foliage coming out here. The plant is releafing itself. I simply plucked off the, the brown leaves, and now I have a plant that is coming back and growing nicely. The message behind this, I guess, is that plants want to live. If we take good care of them, watering them, that they should function fairly well for us. Over here, I'm going to demonstrate two things. This is a viburnum that was bought about a week ago. The people took it home, didn't water it. When the leaves started to, started to brown, they returned it. Now we're left with a plant that looks not very sightly. One of the first things that we're going to do when we try and rehabilitate this is to resaturate the roots. I've got a container here filled with water. I'm going to mention this in rehydrating this because when I set this in this container, I want the water to come up over the top of the pot. And if Russell can zoom in here, we can see air bubbles coming out of that root mass. It'll take a couple of minutes, <coughs> but once that root mass is saturated, the air bubbles don't come out anymore. Then I know that this plant is ready to be watered again. Watering a plant is a little bit like trying to get it moist and keep it moist. By having that root mass moist, it'll be like water going to a sponge. When I water that, the water will go to it. If that root mass dries out and I water it, water will fall off the side. So it's, it's best to get it moist. I do the same thing when I'm planting. I recommend this to our guests when they buy our plants. While you're digging the hole, set the plant in a pot of water or a bucket of water, a small garbage can, hydrate the roots. When you take it out, and take it, out of the, take it out of the container, the roots more than likely will be bound up going in a circle. I recommend taking a small hatchet or, or ax and whaling on this outside edge. Take the plastic off and on this root mass be very aggressive in loosening these up because you can see they're pretty bound up within the pot. You loosen them up and then you plant them. And that way the, the plant has a greater chance of survival other than having the roots stay and grow in a circle. So get it hydrated and then separate the roots and you'll have very good success with your planted material, whether trees, shrubs, perennials, whatever, it's good to get that root mass wet. Now that I've got this saturated, we'll probably set this back in the back and go through a similar process that we did with this one, letting it relief, and then it'll be ready for sale again, probably by fall. Some other things that people are dealing with now are Japanese beetles and other insects. We get a number of people coming in with leaves that are uh, shredded due to the insects. We have a number of products that will work for that. For your roses, we have a three-in-one product made by Bonide, which is a fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. We have the Japanese beetle traps. This is a, a trap that goes by what are called pheromones or smell. There is a 
disc in here that smells or that has a fragrance to it that the beetles are attracted to. This will take the beetles away from your plants and go in this trap. We also have other insecticides, eight Captain Jacks. I like this one for large garden areas. This goes on the end of a hose and then you open it up and you're able to spray a large, large area with this applicator. For people that want the long-term solution, we have several products here. This is for rose and flower care. This is an all-in-one product by Bayer. It's a fertilizer, insect control, and disease control. It'll last for up to six weeks. I talked with guests yesterday, and we're looking at a May 1st, a July, all right, no, a May 1st, a mid-June, and then an August 1st application of this, and your roses should be disease-free, insect-free, and looking very, very nice for the entire summer with just three applications at six-week intervals. We have a number of, of insects that attack trees, trees and shrubs. This bare product will last for up to 12 months. If you apply this now, it will begin the process. It takes about three to four weeks to have this go up within the tree or shrub, but it will be a long-term solution lasting up to 12 months of protecting your, your plants against various insects. This is the one that was used for the emerald ash borer very successfully. For gardeners, if you're having on your vegetables issues of bacteria or fungus issues, this BioSafe product is excellent. It is uh, harmless, it is non, you can use it up until the day of harvest and then wash off the plants and it, it works very, very nicely. We have Funginol for various fungus issues. Fertilizing is very important. People are wondering now, why is my hanging basket not looking as nice as the ones out at Wojo's or when I bought it? We continue to fertilize all of the time. We top dress the plants out here to have them looking nice. Fertilizing is very, very important. I want to talk about this product, this triple phosphate fertilizer. I put on this sign, hydrangea is not flowering use a bloom booster like triple phosphate to have a nice display of flowers. I had a gardener who shops here mention this to me last year. She uses this on all of her plantings that she has around uh, the area. I use this at home this year. My hydrangeas now look like this. They've never had the flower display that they have this summer thanks to this product. So I strongly encourage people to consider the Bloom Booster. miracle Grow has a Bloom Booster that is a uh, product you mix with water for liquid application or this is a granular. Apply this a couple times a year and the plants will look very nice. To keep critters away, we have several products. We have Plant Skid, we have the liquid fence and we also have repels all. These products are good in keeping the plant or keeping animals away, the deer, the rabbits, whatever. But it's important to keep using these throughout the season. If it rains, you're going to have to have another application of this. The plant skid lasts a little bit longer. The uh, repels all and liquid fence are more water soluble and you have to apply them more frequently. We talked about watering and I've mentioned this in previous years. This is what's called a gator bag or a watering bag. It is a plastic container that holds up to 20 gallons of water and it, you wrap it around the base of the tree and then you are able to uh, put that much water on the plant. You don't have to water as frequently if you use the gator bag. As we wind down the program, August 1st is coming soon, and that's the time we talk about the deer beginning to rub their antlers on trees and destroy the trees by rubbing the bark away. We have several tree guards here at Wojo's. 
that I would strongly encourage people don't get blindsided by the deer. Be on the leading edge of this, get the protection on your trees so the deers don't or the deer don't do damage for you. As we wind down, stay cool. If you want color, we have it here at Wojo's. See you next time.